Right then, we're all good. I think. Not Colin Orson. So, what do you think about smooth versus rough surfaces for two strokes? It doesn't matter. Right, right then, we're all good. good. I, think. I think. Not Colin, Not Colin Orson. Orson. So, so, what, what do, do you think, think about, about smooth? smooth the fuck is going on? Jesus Christ, I can hear my own live feed. That is mental. Right, that was a bit weird. I didn't realise I had to mute it. We're going to start a bit early because why the fuck not? Um, let's try again. <laughs> what do you think about smooth versus rough surfaces for two strokes after carburetor transfer ports? Smooth finish or flow? Blah, 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 blah. Um, like I say, it's not particular for two strokes or four strokes. You're talking about the surface finish on ports. Uh, there's a big argument about that, and I'm going to do a video about that soon. Um, but it's all to do with boundary layer effect and so on. So it really doesn't matter. You are never going to see a difference with normal run engines at home. You're just not. I really won't worry about it. Um, so it doesn't matter. You. It depends what which one you find pretty or not. Um, are we all good? Are we still... The weirdest thing about this whole setup is I can't tell if it's playing. Everyone seems to be commenting and what have you, so it looks like we're all good. Right then. Hiya Steve mate, how are you doing? I don't know what the lag is on this thing, so... You know what I mean? I think it's like 20 seconds or something shit when the comments come on the screen. All is good, great. All good. Awesome. Let me just move some shit out of the way. What bikes you got, mate? Loads. Some broken, some not. Some project, some you'll never see, and so on. Hello from Norway. No, that's you, hello from Norway. Hello from Cambridge in the UK, which is a shithole. Uh, more peds. What, just more pens? Just the word? About a 10 second delay, by the way. Cool. Oh well, oh, we're just going to have to go with it, aren't we? Uh, do you like Formula One? No, do I fuck? It's an upside down plane with wheels. Uh, hello from Blackburn, Holland. Only more pens. What do you mean, only more pens? Loads of highs, hi dudes, hi Danny, hi. I can't say these bloody words. Why have you got? Or why have you all got such mental handles? Why can't you just have Dave? <laughs> There's just loads of Daves. Dave two six 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 three eight four. Right then. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys are going to be asking questions and what have you, and I'm going to try and do that at the same time as doing oh fucking hell do you know what I've got this drift thing going on which is so fucking annoying um, do you know anything about common rail diesel cars yes I do I speak Arabic good for you uh, think he only works on mopeds what a shame you should expand your horizons because mopeds uh, challenging to a degree you know is here stupid scooters on the screen all oh, right yeah 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 right I get you I get you I get you I get you I am from Ireland any advice on getting an old BMW K100 anything to look out for make sure it runs <laughs> do I know anything about C form no don't know what it is Hi from Poland. What's up with the all-wheel drive bike? Just heard about them. They're, uh, well, I'll actually talk about that uh, in a video coming up. Um, all-wheel drive motorcycles. Uh, there's some horrible conversion kits. Uh, I am a, Pia a Piaggio bike. English is my second language. I hate mopeds. Right, anyway, talking about the mopeds, um, what we have here is what's going to be a project soon after the R5. Uh, the R5 is secretly actually a lot further ahead than what you guys see in the videos. Um, will we see any videos of you working on bikes or something along them lines? Yes, the R5 project. Uh, hello from Houston, Texas. 
Yes, the video is coming on disc valves. Holy shit. C4 is snake oil. <laughs> but it is. Rrr, I hate mopeds. I hate working on mopeds. I hate people who have mopeds. Well, you hate me because I have a moped. So what we're going to do with this, I'm going to flick through some of the things as I'm trying to answer some people's questions as well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a nasty, nasty, nasty moped. Uh, oh my god, here they all come. <laughs> mopeds for life. Fuck mopeds, mopeds are shite. That's why we're going to turn this one into a good one. Um, so, what we have is you can see that this has got Piaggio Hyper 2 engine in. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it, it's not important. But basically, this is a 50cc moped, and you can see on its output shaft, instead of having just the wheel attached, it has a chain and sprocket, which is quite cool. Um, and then you can see the back sprocket there, you can see it's a derby, it's quite a big machine is this thing. Um, you're doing videos on two, port, two stroke porting, oh for god's sake, there's a th weird thing about two stroke porting, loads of people want it, I've done some videos about the basics, the very very simple basic videos and that was quite a long time ago, um, but uh, two stroke port, just don't fucking bother. I just wouldn't bother, unless you've got a dyno, unless you're going to do some serious tuning and all the rest of it, I just wouldn't bother, you know, slap kits on that people have done before. Um, but any road, this thing was crashed as you can see, it's in a right state and all the rest of it, but it's actually quite a big um, bike, it came with all these bits, you can see someone's done a horrible carbon fibre and aramid repair on it, um, and the exhaust looks like shit and so on and the bike's a bit of a mess. Anyway we took it apart, you can see there's the cooling fan on the variator, it's cracked somehow, don't know what quite did that. In the left hand corner here you can see that there's the little oil pump and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah we're going to repair this bad boy and then we're going to do something crazy with it. Let's have a look at a few questions while we're here. How about we bolt three Wankel engines and stick them in a moped, it won't fit. I don't, one wouldn't fit in this. Uh, have you look at my project on the YB, I think you mean Facebook, I do have access to a dyno, my moped may, oh we're not talking about mopeds, fucking hell, I'm talking about mopeds here, we're not going to talk about mopeds, Jesus Christ, it'll be all fucking year. Um, so yeah, uh, we're, I was just looking at a few of the things, you can see the radiator fins are all fucking toast and all the rest of it, um, and then I realised that someone looked like they'd put four stroke oil in it, um, like a complete set of fucking idiots. Uh, like that and then I'm just this was I was posting on a forum at the time and um, yeah you know so I, the, the, a lot of these videos have arrows on where I'm showing people stuff what's it say can carbon reeds on a two stroke make more power than steel ones no the reason why I use carbon steel gen, uh, carbon carbon um, reeds generally is because if they do break and turn into dust like they do eventually then they aren't catastroph catastrophically bad for the actual engine where if a, stain a, a spring steel, not stainless, a spring steel reed breaks off it can go in there and cause, you know, basically fuck up your afternoon. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, is there anything you like when you when it comes to bikes? What do you mean is there anything I like? I love, I love bikes. <laughs> Matt, thanks for not letting me sleep with all the uploads keep it up. They're not letting me sleep. Alright, I'll get you. The, don't worry, dude, there's another two uploads coming tonight. Because, um, like I said, I do um, going to tune it. There'll be no need to tune it. Well, there will be to a certain degree, but I'll talk about that later. Um, then I'll just show you the horrible exhaust that was... Do I own a car? No, I own a van. Um, you can see, right, so this is a Piaggio Zip back tyre that a mate had to be basically brought around to me, have me pop the bead off. And then you can see the Derby tyres a hell of a lot bigger. Um, and then we had some re dodgy repairs that someone tried to do. So a lot of the broken bits, a lot of stripped nuts, the exhaust was fucked. The um, tachometer cable, basically your speedo cable had broken off at the source. They had some weather pack connectors that were actually standard, which I thought was pretty cool, since so the Derby's a pretty cheap bike. Um, what A bolt was missing for the... Um, Oh bloody hell, what's going on here? Fuck's sake, I don't know why it's doing that. I can't put the cursor over there. 
uh, we had a few little leaks and stuff and all the rest of it not showing how people to get clips off um, and then the, when we emptied, when I emptied out all the oil you, uh, water you can see there's a tiny bit of oil in there but that might have been off the floor um, but you can see there's a hell of a lot of rust in there because it had a cast iron head Matt if you say 20 horsepower out of 50cc is that good? that's fucking madness of course it's good um, more, not more pen rate collection uh, question what bikes do you ride if you have one that's working that is I have the GSX-R1000 um, and I have the Bandit 1200 it's an N uh, how about rear braking on a BMW with a tele lever? What do you mean rear braking? Oh yeah, you asked this question actually in the comments. I did read it. I just didn't get back to you. I don't think rear braking on a BMW with a tele lever. It's completely up to you. Like I say, the rear braking thing was my opinion of how I ride and all the rest of it. Um, someone did leave a comment that if you don't fall off, then you're not a proper biker. Whoever put that's a fucking dickhead. I've come off quite a few times. I actually. Um, cracked my L6 and L7 vertebrae, um, collapsed a lung, broke a lot of ribs by using my body and a tree to slow myself down. I did a lot of um, crashing off-road. Uh, what do you think of the 1200 Bandit? The 1200 Bandit is really quite good. I've ridden both, I've had both, I've had the 600 and the 1200 and my opinion is, is that the 1200 is a better bike than the 600. Uh, the the um, the mass of the bike and its frame and the trail of the uh, front forks just it, it just handles itself. It's just a lot better. It just seems it's a lot heavier lower down and it just seems to uh, handle a lot better. Uh, why do you put a llama in the icon? It's a pony. It was a play on words right at the beginning of when I started this. All these channels were all about. Oh, horsepower this, horsepower that, so I did pony power just as a piss tick. And I didn't think this would go anywhere, that's the thing. I thought I'd do this for a year or so, see how it went, and then it turned into this shit. <laughs> I've owned a 600 myself, one of the smoothest machines I've ever ridden. Yes, the fact that it is not water-cooled. Um, and it is a very it's a very good power plant, is the uh, 600, well, and the 1200. The, the Suzuki's are really quite good. And even though I love to work on Yamaha's to ride, I do like Suzuki's better. To, uh, I like Yamaha's to work on, and um, as far as bikes go, uh, I love um, Suzuki. And m my favourite bike of all time is a K6 um, GSX R1000. Sorry mate, I missed what you said about Desmod uh, Desmodronic valves. My net fucked up. I didn't say anything about Desmodronic valves, unless that's a very clever way of getting that in. So I'm now going to avoid that question altogether, but there will be a video coming out. Uh, you doing any vids on carb jetting, uh, car venturi info? Yes, so I've just done a video recently today actually about all the uh, fluid dynamic videos and I suggest that everyone goes and watches them because engines are all about um, fluid dynamics and the flow through your engine so you should get a basic understanding of how that works. It would stop a lot of the stupid comments I get if they actually watch them videos. If you have time could you look a bit into this video, the guy is a god of moped tuning it's just a link if you um, put that in a question not here because I can't copy that here if you put that in a question on just any video then I'll get around to doing it uh, what else have we got thought your best bike was a GT 752 stroke no it was it was a pain in the ass um, but yeah it was quite a, a fun bike but it, you know it is a 1970s bike and it is a bit you get on a GSXR after that and then you don't turn back Rotary versus reed valve, which is better? Reed valves? Yeah, it's a silly question. The other thing is as well is that uh, rotary valves have a massive issue, and it was actually the outboard um, business that basically, and a bit of the motorbike, but it's more the outboards that converted everyone to reed valves because they are incredibly cheap, and with multi cylinder two strokes, you can't really have um, a rotary valve because of the way the arrangement works. You can, but it's very difficult to sort out. Um, has that knobhead who put JB Weld in his pot seen you, sent you an angry email yet? I think he's fallen off the earth, either because of his, you know, maybe he thought he could fly and jumped off a cliff, I do not know. Has there ever been a reverse flow head on a bike? Uh, good question. I don't know. Matt, do you ride better off-road or on-road? Maybe stupid question though. 
Uh, I ride better on road, obviously, because <laughs> I've had some serious offs um, off road. I think that's why they call it off road. But uh, anyway, back to our little fucking slideshow. One of the bolts missing for the rear uh, back of the bike, and so on, and oil pump, and blah 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 blah. I'm just showing people on this how to disconnect everything. Uh, all the bolts that need to be removed and clips and so on. This was, like I say, back in the forum days. Uh, start motor, blah blah blah, and then we finally get the engine out. Alright, let's have a look what else we've got to say. Why haven't you done a collab with Motorman yet? Motorman, as far as I understand it, doesn't have a YouTube channel. He has uh, just a website that he's been milking, and I think since 2012 he's just stopped doing it and just keeps on raking in from the uh, profits of everyone viewing the page. Uh, pretty good video quality, but your mic is fucking awful. Sorry, mate. Are oh, you talking about? Yes, I know, I know, I know. We're getting to it. Stop being a whinging bitch. If you want to pay me the money to get a new microphone straight away, I will. Uh, why haven't you done a? Oh no, I've done that one. I have an, a Honda MT50, unlucky, and I've just rebuilt the engine, and it's the first bike I have done. Your videos help me a lot in understanding how things work. So cheers. No worries, um, maybe a stupid question, but I've heard that you start the bike, you push the bike in reverse, the bike will run in reverse. That was all two strokes, the DT125 was very um, renowned for doing that, you could actually run it backwards, um, but there's uh, sprag clutches and stuff like that and a lot of two strokes nowadays, so you can't, and other reasons. Uh, have you seen the Revo Power Wheel? It's a wheel with an engine inside. Made to motor don't talk to me about motorized bicycles not interested how old are you I'm 36 37 I'm not gonna answer that question you never ask a lady your age <laughs> is it a bad idea to put a jet engine on my bike yes it's a stupid idea fucking hell uh, I googled there's a lot of nobbins nobbins out there with JB weld in their heads Yes, there are, and I'm going to show you exactly what you should do and how you should use JB Weld in the future. Uh, what else have we got? Would the 1998 RT 100 run backwards? I don't fucking know. Work it out. Have a look. Surely that's the whole point of me doing these videos. Is to, uh, you know, the whole point of doing these videos is so that you guys, who especially you guys who are all new to all this, or you know, you're just starting out, is so you can understand this stuff. Your, you know, so you can understand this stuff, stuff yourself. Not be dead led down the garden path like with Motorman and all the rest of it. If you understand the theory, then you can you can pretty much fix most things. Hi Matt, do you have a video about octane and combustion with different fuels? I've got a, one of my first ever. Uh, whiteboard videos was octane ratings and what basically ron and mon and all the other shit means uh, combustion with different fuels there's the calorific value video basically just talking about some of the calorific values but i haven't actually done the full series on different fuels of combustion like methanol and stuff uh have you ridden dirt bikes you've already missed that conversation yes like i say i broke my back punctured my lung and broke a load of ribs and concussion and loads of things. That's when I found out I was allergic to morphine. <laughs> Shit, that was funny. Any road. Tell us about the good times you've had on your TW125. So I used to have a TW125, I don't know, seven years ago, something like that. And it's a great fun bike. Uh, I used to use it basically to commute to work and it was like 12 miles away on some country roads. I picked it up for like 300 quid and it was a rate it was a, a right good laugh until it dropped a valve on me the bastard and uh, I got another bike and someone wanted it so they bought it off me which is a shame because I wish I still had it and if I do get the chance to buy a new one I will do uh, two strokes small bills running reverse what's that button stall and back and fires backwards really does it idiots um, obviously it's got a CVT so it, it, it doesn't I don't think it really matters with their CVTs which way you run it why don't people make two-stroke boxer motorcycles or am I ignoring a major fault in design? There's a video that I'm doing tomorrow about that, so you'll just have to wait. Uh, is there a vid on reading spark plugs? No, not yet, but they will do. Uh, do. What do you think about reusable oil filters? The ones from uh, Metal? Uh, I don't really have an opinion. I don't think it's the best thing to do. 
But if you just use the outer case that's... Um, if you do use just the outer case and you have a replaceable paper filler, I don't see really the problem with them. What do you do for a living? If you don't mind me asking, I am a mechanical engineer and I do shitloads of boring, boring CAD work for um, basically it's drop testing and stuff like it's, it's basically extreme condition and environmental testing for fucking all sorts. It just depends what my company wants to do. Uh, it's boring as fuck, basically. And basically, sometimes I have to literally make my own jigs and equipment and stuff like that. Uh, so you want to turbo your bike video? When's the next one? Uh, next week, I would imagine. There's just so much. You, you, you guys um, are all great and all the rest of it, and you questions are great and blah blah blah. But my god, you have not seen the fucking list. I already had a list of uh, 400 videos that I wanted to do and I've been adding another 200 to that and then you fuckers add another 800 to it so <laughs> there's a long list and these things have to come in order to a certain degree I have to mix stuff up um, so there's two stroke stuff so we talk about Moto Man because that will go on forever because he's amazing um, hope your employer doesn't see this what the live stream or <laughs> my employer is he's quite cool uh, and he's, he's far too rich and far too snobby to be watching this. Can you video do a video on mesh gear loading? Yes I can. I I think that's coming up quite soon actually. Uh, how can you make videos almost every fucking day? I had to release three a day so if that blew your mind that's going to blow it even more. What happened to the homemade two stroke? It is coming. I'm waiting on something very particular. Um, uh, there's actually a set of drills and stuff so I can start doing the carb work um, but yeah it's just you know it's just whatever it's just gonna have to take some time you know but it is gonna be done don't worry we're gonna run it on butane first and then actually run it on petrol uh, what's this say YouTube partner make money from your vids do I yes is it a lot not really <laughs> Thanks for the service you are providing us aspiring, aspiring weekend engineers. No worries. Might I ask the question about the difference between 10 weight 40? Uh, where is the video on your list? Where is the video? Where is that video on your list? I'm not going to start telling people what. Um, I'm not going to start doing that because people then will start getting all weird and blah 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 blah, and they'll say, "Oh yeah, you fucking done." Um, you know, you put this before this and that before that. Uh, I will tell you it is coming rather soon-ish. And rather soon means less than a month. Uh, is it worth buying a Chinese dirt bike and turboing it and crossing your fingers that you won't blow it up? Do whatever you fuck you want. If you're going to have fun doing it and it doesn't cost you much, go for it. Um, do you put rain -X on something similar on your visor? Washing up liquid. And I'm going to do a video about that next week of how it actually works, just put fairy liquid on it, if you don't know what that is, google it. What is a safe squish for an RD350 plus 4mm stroke, oh my god are you kidding me? I don't know the answer off the top of my head, I'd have to look into it and work it out. I will do a video on how to work it out and then you can do it yourself. What could be a problem when my two stroke moped is not running right after 50% throttle? but just fine at 100% throttle and idle. You've got a moped, that's your problem. Coolest chat room ever? Question mark. I don't know what ASL means. Only found your channel last week. I wish I had found it sooner. You have a great way of explaining things. Thank you very much. Keep it up. It just says Neil for some reason. <laughs> Stream is awesome. Do face cam. Do you fucking fancy me? Is that what it is? What do you think about fuel injected two strokes? Watch the videos, there are plenty of them. Any more videos on piston inspection? Yes, there's a lot of videos on all sorts. Like I say, I am just swamped, guys. It really is just like that. Uh, now that we're getting two stroke endurance bikes coming, do you think smaller displacement with turbo could possibly compete with the likes of 300 smokers? Two stroke, uh, turbos on two strokes, like I said before, is difficult to do. It's not impossible, but 
in a sense the turbo all, almost narrows your power, power band which is not a good thing it's the adverse in a no is it the adverse in a sense no for it's, it's it, it, I'll, I'll do a, more videos on two stroke and tur uh, turbo in how's the r5 project coming along it is coming along dandy i've just finished the front end and about to put the fucking wheels on so we're nearly at the point of rolling chassis and then things will really get a shift on oh age sex location age i i i i always aim above 20 year olds sex they have to be female location uh within five miles as someone wants in your pants oh i thought you meant <laughs> i thought you meant um who do i want to sleep with oh god you're all going too fast now what's your opinion on emissions all right well i've done the emissions videos today uh moped throttle thing i'm going to oh i can't read that's gone it's gone too fast Perhaps the reactions prohibit on face cam could add value to us use, view, viewers. Uh, New Zealand signing out. Connection is two balls to keep up. Uh, we'll watch later. No worries, dude. Uh, yeah, maybe, like I say, I've got loads of things to sort out. First thing I have to sort out is the microphone for the actual camera instead of the fucking webcam. Um, what do you do for a living? You must be in, in engineering role at least. Very clever guy. Thank you very much. I've just answered that question. Um, yes, I spend my time. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I spend my time just at a desk doing fucking CAD work and failure analysis and all sorts of other rubbish, which is boring as fuck. But this job pays more than what I used to do with engine emissions testing and blah 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 with diesels. Uh, I would think that a crankcase seal would be the limiting factor. No, you see, if you go and watch my Can You Two Stroke Turbo, I talk about that. Why the fuck is the new SV650 so shite? Is it? I've never ridden it, but I will be getting one soon, next year, I think. I like the videos on the Kawasaki R5. Cool, so do I. Uh, what else do we have? Do you have a degree in anything? Well, I have a HNC and a HND, so you have to have a HNC to have a HND, as far as I understand. A HND is pretty much a degree it's like second year university so what I lack in just having that final year at university I make up for in my um, experience because I've actually been on the ground doing stuff so when you look at Jason from Engineering Explained he has done the full degree um, but um, it's not a digger the guy but he's got no actual practical experience um, that's why he just stands there with a board and blah 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 which was actually in a sense what I want what was my uh, reluctance to do the board thing even though it is obviously quite popular now um, I wanted to kind of I was reluctant to do it because he had already done it I didn't want to take anything away from him I try and stay away from some of his videos I haven't watched all his videos or what have you but I try and stay away from that source even if it is motorbike related um, why are you such a grumpy twat I'm from Yorkshire dude fucking hell do you not know anything Uh, laughing my ass off you said can you two stroke a turbo I'd love to see that don't worry the pictures on the left is what we're gonna do with it because I've actually got the turbo in already uh, what else have we got happy happy dog why are you such a dick why wow, was happy dog saying all right <laughs> uh, is it worth pissing around with the final drive gearing using different size sprockets and how do you work out top speed versus acceleration? That is a good question. Uh, and there'll be a video on that. What's it? Oh, oh, Pled Motor, dude! I went to HND route and then topped up to a full degree. Computer science topped up with a HND and software science and system development. HND was a was a great degree. Suck donkey's dick. <laughs> um, For your toolbox giveaway, does the bike need to be a street bike? No, no, it could be any bike whatsoever. As long as it's got an engine in it, and as long as it's not one of them stupid fucking motorised bicycles, pieces of shit. I wish I hadn't watched all your videos, because now I don't have any good questions for you to ask uh, to ask you. Uh, cool, that's actually quite a nice compliment. Um, when replacing a chain, should both sprockets be renewed as well? Damn right. I'm a massive advocate of that. Um why wouldn't you you know what i mean if you're going to buy the front buy the back buy the chain and then you just you just constantly replace them um at the same at the same time 
What's your favourite racing series, if any? Um, no, it really is a difficult one. It is a mix between World Superbike and MotoGP. The TT really isn't a racing series, so to speak. It's good to watch, but it does get a bit, not boring, but you can only watch, I only watch it for so long. Options on diesel engines, yes, we'll get to that. Uh, same replacing discs, you should replace them with pads. Very true to a degree, it depends how much quick you go through your pads. It depends how thick your discs are as well, so. Um, but yes, I kind of do that. Uh, down on the rear and up on the front will increase top end and vice versa. Uh, there's a bit more to it than that, but yes, the. Yeah, there's a bit more to it than that. You have to basically take into consideration um, the torque that your engine can produce and the size of your wheels, and because it's. Um, because there are different size wheels, we always tend to think that all wheels are 17 inch, but when you look at mopeds, when you look at off road bikes, and so on, they're not obviously. A group here, every time you say I can make a video on that, do you uh, do you actually make a note of it? Damn right, haven't you seen the book? I'll have to show the book more uh, frequently. Um, yes, <laughs> yes, there is a fucking list, and it makes me want to cry sometimes when I look at it. Is there a minimum age for the bike box giveaway? I am 16 looking for apprenticeship. No, there isn't. As well, yes, you have to be over 16. Let's put it that way. I should. That's a good point. I'll actually write some of this down after this um, because that is a very good point. There should be a minimum age. Uh, well, so when reassembling an engine, would you recommend assemb assembly lube or oil? Um, well, assembly lube, a lot of them assembly, well, not a lot of them. If you get the uh, really expensive stuff, it's molybdenum disulfide. And yes, you want to use molybdenum disulfide because it's really good. Um, what else have we got? Are you going to organise a playlist because is crap finding shit again? Organise a playlist? Everything's in a fucking playlist. I've got like 40 of them. <laughs> Oh, someone's got too much fucking valve overlap in the background. Um, what we got? When you're doing Celtics, uh, do you mean Deltics? That is coming up, and there's going to be some a tiny bit special about that. Um, that's from Matt Dyson, so yeah, there you go. I know this is mostly a bike channel and shit, but what do you think about electric power? I've just done a video on that. Yes, yes, I did a video on that today. What is your opinion on supercharging a small four-stroke? We're actually going to do that as well. Um, if you can find a small, if, if, I think you're thinking about centrifugal. You won't, but you won't find a roots blow or anything like that. Um, do supercharge, but if you use a small enough impeller, you can quite easily get away with it. The best thing about using an, an impeller, and obviously you'll have to use some kind of gearbox, is that it doesn't really matter about the size of the impeller because you can actually just basically pick what speed you want. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, you can't have one the size of a fucking, you know, VW Golf or anything, but you do have a lot of um, scope to play with. Uh, how could you tell it had too much overlap? Because you were popping. <laughs> popping a bit too early in the revs when he shut down the throttle. Uh, I do exactly the same when I hear a bike up the window like a meerkat. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the the Maytag two cycle engine? The Maytag? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Uh, electric is boring but it's the future. Yes, that's exactly what I've just basically done the video on. Um, what is your opinion on Moto Vloggers? Uh, well, actually Pleb Moto, his cunt videos are absolutely fantastic. They're short and sweet and he doesn't really he doesn't say anything and he just calls people cunts. I love them because they're really short and I can watch them on the phone or whatever when I'm on uh, a, a, a vape break. I hate saying that. Um, but yeah, when you're moving back to God's country, it's county. Um, I think it's county. Actually, I might be a complete cunt there. Are we getting confused exactly where um, Guy Martin comes from again? <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I, uh, in a year, a year between a year and two years, that's when I'm moving back. Uh, any thoughts on the hub centre steering? Oh yes, and we are going to do videos on that. Um, it's extremely complicated and um, a waste of time, in my opinion. But 
uh, it is definitely worth doing a, um, a video on, especially that virus weird looking thing. I do like the really complete um, mental uh, ideas, even if they're shit sometimes. Um, tonight is going to be the release of the snowmobile, <laughs> snowmobile e tech engine, and why wow, that's shite, and I'm going to get so much flack for that. It is going to be amazing. Uh, the plane guy has just fitted headlights, uh, fitted for night flights, just waiting for him to come over. Yes, oh my, bastard. What do you think about ethanol based fuels over oil based? Over oil based? Well, as in ethanol from um, oil seed rape and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a halfway house that they're probably never going to need. Um, but I actually. I think that's one of the videos coming soon, actually, just talking about E85 and stuff like that. Um, but you can't actually get more uh, power out of an engine just because of the uh, uh, air fuel ratio. Uh, air fuel ratio. Um, yeah. Sorry, I've just gone completely blank. I'm just fucking. I was looking out the window, actually. <laughs> uh, love the why things are shite videos. Does dry NOS increase or decrease emissions? Yeah, it's a stupid question. Yes, it is a stupid question. Uh, why the fuck do you stream so late? I stream so late because the poor bastards in New Zealand and Australia, it is really fucking early. Um, so I'm trying to fit everybody in. So this is pretty much the best time where I can make uh, it, you know, fucking dickheads, uh, make it um, easy for everybody. Matt to promote crack is illegal. <laughs> uh, everyone is here, it's not that late. Um, you said you would re sleeve a cylinder. You need to. Uh, I'm, your English is terrible, dude. Uh, you said you want to re sleeve a cylinder. I would have one. I, I would have one for you, is that? Uh, any videos on fuel mapping? God's sake, not yet. I need the other thing is as well is you got to remember I've got examples in my head of stuff I want to show you. It's all right banging on about a board, but I there's a lot of these videos where I want to actually show you. I would love to do every single video a 50/50, so I can show you on the ground. I can show you the real thing. I can take things apart and show you, and then do the board stuff of exactly how this works when I can't physically show you. Uh, you stream when you want to because there's, you're the one streaming. Tell everyone else to fuck off, basically, I think you're saying. That's a good way. Everyone else who wants to complain about what time the stream is, fuck off. <laughs> Have you ever tried filtering out the background noise? Uh, during recording, I, I'm, I would love to, but I don't have the time. I'm just going to get a condenser mic, a really good one. Um, when you're making your videos, I want the same drugs that you're using. It's petrol, mate. It's not a drug. Well, it is a drug. Just sniff it for ages. It's fine. Before I forget, is it possible to have a video on how grip on gravel works? Do you mean how grip on gravel doesn't work? What's your favourite road in the UK? Uh, anywhere in Yorkshire, really, because it's, it's in Yorkshire and it's not fucking down here in the shit all in the south. It's not illegal to promote drugs. It's just uncouth. <laughs> But he's from Yorkshire, so we have we have to well we can forgive him. My wife told me to ask you something, something, awesome. I love it, brilliant. Um, say hello to your wife for me. I don't know why. Just say it. Um, any thoughts on sleeve valve two strokes? Oh yes, I mean I'm going to go on that. There's the um, oh, what's it called? The RSV is it the RSV or the RCV? The rotating cylinder, the RCV, the rotating cylinder valve, which is just a complete fucking waste of time. But they keep on hammering on with it. I don't know why. I mean, how do vehicles get away on gravel? What do you mean, how do they get away? I'm a bit confused with that one. How do you get grip full stop? Oh, you don't want to start going into that. Fucking hell, that's a lot of maths. What kind of two stroke engine is in the background? Oh, that's a uh, Hyper 2. We're going to get on with that in a minute. Uh, hello, Matt. How's things? Fine. I'm hot. Hot as a bastard. Hot as fucking... 
hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty like George Bush's fucking palms on an IQ test. Uh, my bird has just got out the shower and is sat next to me with stiff nipples. That is fucking awesome. Email me a picture. That would be great. Um, sleeve a cylinder or replay to cylinder. It depends if it's got nickel on it already. You are cute. Look, dude, you're going to have to fucking pay me money if you want me to suck you off. It's as simple as that. I am not a cheap bitch. Uh, right, anyway, let's get back to this bike. So you can see that it's obviously in a horrible mess and blah, 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 blah. We'll go past the variator. There you can see uh, the drive for the oil pump, which which means that this is an RPM-based um, oiling system. It's a shit system, but it is an RPM-based system. And then going about 12-point sockets and how to get head studs off. You can see that the cylinder's cracked. Uh, and she's rusty but the rust isn't a problem it means that the water's been sat in here for a long time because it has been sat uh, the rust isn't a problem the big fucking crack in it is uh, Nikasil Alina did it to my go-kart engine what do you mean Nikasil Alina do you mean you Nikasil Alina I'm not gay, but wanna touch dicks. What? Or why is it going down this rabbit hole? Can we just stay away from the touching penises conversation, please? Um, <laughs> right, anyway, we look at the head, there's a thermostat, and so on. Um, you can still see it's got the horn marks. You can still see the horn marks in the cylinder. That was absolutely fucking awesome. Couldn't believe it. But there is a slight a squeaky squeaky on the bottom, where it's obviously got a bit hot. Um, you mentioned rabbit holes yeah I shouldn't have mentioned holes altogether there you can see on the piston it's had a bad day out so it's had a bit of heat seize the weirdest thing is it's had a heat seize at the bottom not the top I'm not gay but my boyfriend is soon to be husband um, and you can see this big dirty nasty crack in it which has caused the uh, you can see down here there you can see there's this dripping of water so basically what's happened is, is it's cracked it's lost a lot of fluid on one side this side of um, the engine and the other side of the engine is actually where the exhaust port is so on this engine the exhaust port is down here at the bottom and here at the top is the intake and it's heat seized on this side which is quite weird but when you actually look at the crack in the cylinder there you can see that it started to the water level's been up to here I don't know if you can see my cursor is that right can you see my cursor and there's a massive delay Nicosil a, Nicosil a steel liner easier than replacing liner yes it's very true actually um, as long as you get it the ball right and all the rest of it where did you go Mike um, oh Mike doesn't live in the fucking uh, you can see it awesome Mike you live in America don't you you live in the colonies is that right pretty sure they spray welded it first yeah to um, air bomb does a lot of that stuff it's awesome Um, so yeah you can see where it has uh, chewed up on the wrong side in the sense the cold side so you can even get seizes on the cold side and basically like I said that was just a bit of an analysis of what had gone wrong uh, you live in the USA West Virginia you poor bastard how many guns do you have <laughs> that's the one thing you jammy bastards you get to play with firearms I haven't played with a firearm in quite a while now uh, any road what am I talking about here? Yeah, I was trying to get this off. There's one question that I used to get an awful lot was, or what I used to see on forums of people saying, no guns, oh my god, I'd at least have a Vulcan Gatling gun. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, what I was talking about is, people used to say that the reason why it's very hard to get your flywheel off the side of a crankshaft is because of the magnetic force fucking idiots it's because of the taper on the end of your crank I know a lot of you guys are probably already know that but there are fucking obviously still idiots in mass supply uh, taking off all the screws and I hate the fact that they use um, I hate the fact that they use uh, Phillips heads bastards um, just impacting the fucker off and just showing people about all the pickups and this is a weird thing can someone explain this to me 
So, on a lot of um, two strokes, they have the security torx fittings on the reed valve. Now, someone said to me once, it's so they can stop making the carb, which is bollocks, because the carb is before this. Why the hell? Are people nicking reeds or something? I don't understand why they um, put torque, security torque fittings on reeds. I just don't get it. But anyway, uh, moving on, all the seals. I just cut that because I'm going to get it replaced. Um, so in my stool, you guys don't see this, it's got a hole in. The reason why it's got a hole in is because the crank fits in there beautifully. <laughs> um, and then this is just all about splitting cases and stuff, which we will do a video on. And uh, separating engines, blah, 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 blah. You can see all the sludge in the water pump. Right, now we've got to the water pump bit. Let's have a look at some more of the comments. Are we talking about firearms now? Fucking hell. Yes, they're not Phillips, the GIS screws, that's very true. Um, but, you know, fuck it. Uh, if you've got holes in your stool, see a doctor, mate. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. Love it. Maybe to stop knobs, knobs from wankering their engines. Oh, noobs. I always get knobs, because people used to spell knobs just without the K. Um, dude, you have an awesome set of tools. Are you talking about a penis again, or are we talking about actual tools? Um... Uh, where are we? Oh, Mars! Mars is here. Cool. Noobs. Noobs. Ali Sil versus Nickasil. Oh, God's sake. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. That's another fucking rabbit hole. Because the manufacturers don't want people to fuck around with the reeds. Uh, no, because surely the. Uh, really? I don't see that. I really don't see that. They don't care. When you, as soon as you bought it, they think it was shit. Is it possible to have two petrol two stroke without crankcase scavenging? Uh, go and watch the video. There's a lot of videos and stuff like that. I don't want to spend it talking about that. I'm sorry, dude. It's just that the, you know the live feed is so people can have a bit of a chinwag about other things and what have you. And also, just quick questions. Uh, talks I used to stop people taking out the restriction. Ah, so it's possibly true. Actually, that's actually a, a, at least a, a, a proper reason. Um, or is more likely to be a proper reason. JB Weld it all. Fucking JB Weld it. Don't get me started. Oh, we're going wonky again. Fucking hell. I hate this stupid thing. Have you already done a video explaining why rotor engines will spontaneously fail to start? No, I haven't yet. Um, this is the wife. Thanks for the greetings. Is it true that newly wed man should go to bed with the wife's invite or should they keep on watching live streams fuck off it's not the night you married oh my god if it is watch the live stream <laughs> on the engines blah 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 what's that say on the engine you've got there is it a single reed hull or is there a divider between them uh, I think it's a divider between them I think he can fuck you later Julia <laughs> Oh, can we not start going on about sex stuff? I know it's all fun and all the rest of it, but we are here for engine-ish kind of stuff. I might just do a fucking a stream one day where we just talk about everything but engines. Um, they did it with the screws to piss you off and make you buy tools. They're probably true. Uh, does How does high-flow intake ports work again? You fucking bastards. Any road. Um taking the uh, wrist, pin, wrist pin gudgeon pin out of the um, piston and the crank the other thing you'll notice there as well is I always mark exactly which way the piston went round I always do this because some of them don't actually have the arrow on top or if you've got a bit of detonation blah 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 blah, blah. this doesn't help with reassembly this helps with um, this helps with uh, failure analysis it's always good to always mark the orientation of things or uh, use a paint pen or something like that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Piston rings. I'm just talking on the forum. These are pictures for guys on the forum. Uh, that was how to measure ring gap and all the rest of it. Um, you can see the crack there. I had to basically just grind away and do a bit of investigation. 
uh, take out the sump plug and you can see that that is there's something weird in it um, what else we got yeah look you see it's it's got a bit of water ingestion and something else I don't know what it was it smelled really weird um, what else have we got taking off the clutch bell looking at the contact patch on the pads and how thick the pads are and basically just the inside surface of the clutch bell and all that kind of shite that little clip that fucking broke off because it's shite as you can see at the time I was actually comparing here the difference between this horrible shitty automated MIG weld here and then this lovely one here the, the, the quality of parts and these are both OEM parts and they were both shocking they've even got the date stamps on them you can see that that's an 04 and that's an 05 but I have seen massive varieties um, and not just with these go 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 peds I've seen it with fucking motorbikes sometimes it's just some of it's shocking uh, have you ever done any trials bike riding cause you look a bit like a, a what? a doogie lampkin? what the fuck is one of them? yes I broke my back um, broke my jaw punctured my lung I've done actually all sorts I broke my fucking hands and legs broke my femur once but that wasn't nothing to do with a bike that was uh, jumping out of a plane <laughs> um, Will the swapping out an aftermarket expansion pipe typically rejet in your carb? Oh, that's a deep question. Um, typically, it, de uh, you know, it all depends. It depends. You, you can't just ask that question. It depends what bike you've got. It depends everything. Fucking hell. Um, generally, for stuff like that, if you've got questions like that, are very particular for your very particular machine, I would just go and have a look at the forums. Dougie is a trials rider. Oh right, he's actually a person. I thought it was like a piss tick. I look like him. Someone will have to send me a photo of him. What did you think of jumping out of a plane? It was the scariest experience of my life. I earned my wings, so I, I actually eventually did 11 jumps, I think. I managed to, I was a lucky bastard because I managed to do a halo jump. Um, and a halo jump. I did two halo jumps and they scared the absolute shit out of me. Um but I did my first halo jump in the dark and that did absolutely scare the fuck out of me that was amazing but yeah jumping out of the plane is great hey man always wondered why your logo is a horse it's not a horse you bastard it's a pony <laughs> what is your opinion on uh, Husserberg engineering solutions uh, some of it's really good, some of it I, I do scratch my head about sometimes in a sense of I get where you were going with it, but um, yeah, it's sometimes I just think that was it's a bit odd. It's a bit like Ducati sometimes. Ducati sometimes just do stuff for the sake of it, and I don't know why. Okay, dark jump, never done that. Yeah, it's army stuff. Usually you cannot actually do night jumps. Uh, little horse then it was all a play on words and all the rest of it um, where it was like everyone had horsepower channels and horsepower this and maximum horsepower or mighty car mods and all this shit and I thought I'd take the piss by calling it um, pony power instead of horsepower and I changed the name of the channel because I think it didn't make much sense to people um, but I kept the logo because why not that's kind of like my heritage of the channel is it true thanks to Honda Guy Martin's nuts now have separate postcards? <laughs> I actually did a video today about that because it was quite shocking but um, you'll see that soon. Will you open the giveaway box to donations? Not in tools because I, I, I know that sounds cuntish but I want certain tools in that box. Um, but yeah if you go to the, oh for fuck's sake, if you go to the PayPal link that's on the bottom of most of my videos if you write toolbox or bike box or something like that then I'll know that that's a donation to it did you do P company um, do you know what I, I was ne oh for fuck's sake I was nearly tempted um, but I wasn't fit enough to be quite honest I was not fit enough them guys are all fucking mental um, where in Yorkshire are you from York uh, a little tiny village on the outskirts of York called Colton which is literally a hamlet and I used to live on the outside of that 
sometimes I've heard folks say how many ponies have you got in your motor meaning horsepower yeah yeah that's kind of where it came from it's actually a mate's idea was the whole pony power name what do you think of Honda's failed uh, what do you think of Honda's failed Isle of Man on TT attempt uh, we'll have to wait and see actually uh, we'll have to see what was said more more information needs to come out but uh, yeah you know we just have to uh, first neutral second neutral third neutral box of the neutrals any road um, rant on motors versus engines yes Mike we were talking about that yesterday it will be done uh, getting this off cracking this case off and we can see this lovely weird stuff it used to it stunk did this when I took this apart put it in a box now this is one of the weird things um, where we've got these tabs on this sprocket I could get that out and there's one of my favorite tools this tool here is the um, backhoe grips that you cannot buy anymore the fucking bastards they are amazing and I'll get myself a second set and I'll get a set for the toolbox absolutely immediately um, but yeah, you'd bend these tabs off. That's that's, that's not me bashing the uh, bearing. That's me getting the uh, oil seal out the other side. And blocker wood, so you got some clearance. Give her a strike with a fucking socket, and out she comes. Uh, so how can you call Guy a southerner? It's south of York. Anyone south of York is a southerner. It's as simple as that. It's a joke. Get over it. It's all right. Cancel your manicure for tomorrow, and just basically have a beer and grow a mustache. Um, uh, this is on about how to get dowels out, so you, you've got uh, hollow dowels, stick a drill bit in, grab it with a pair of pliers and they easily come out. Uh, have you done a video on inner rotor ignition? If not, can you do one and the pros and cons of it? Yes I can, not a problem. Uh, broken bolts, using the press to get a lot of the um, bushings out. Then this was the weird thing, where this rear collar is for the rear sprocket, I could not get that off. Um, and I didn't know which way, there was a weird little socket inside and it was such a weird arrangement, you'll see a picture of how it's arranged, but I couldn't tell at the time because I had no drawings. There are no drawings or manuals for this particular year, this GP150 with the engine and the frame was released for one year I think and they didn't bother. Uh, after that they put the uh, engine at the back with the rear wheel and uh, fucked it all up so there was no actual drawings of this I couldn't find anything what I had to do is actually find the replacement parts order them to look at the threads so there is a ponces yes they are oh what's this say? wow you're live hi and thanks for your vids no worries dude you mean why are inner rotor ignitions shite <laughs> yeah pretty much um, and then what we're going to do is actually look at this now. Hi from South Africa, love your videos. Thank you, two strokes, the majority here due to low running costs. Have you ever tried modifying internals of your own project motor, carbon fibre in carbon fiber internals? Do you mean reed valves? Uh, reed, reed petals, as I was always taught as a kid. Water injection systems, if you can be asked. Yeah, we could do water injection. That's all about increasing the mass. Uh, also means you can run slightly higher compression ratios and stuff if you balance it correctly. Um, they used water injection on a lot of planes back in the day. It was a very British thing to do and a Russian thing to do, I believe. Uh, how do you really feel about hard braking? It's a stupid thing to do. Thrashing the shit out of your engine. You know, you've had a broken leg, right? You've had a broken leg and then the doctor says to you, right, you've had two days rest, now go out and do a fucking marathon. Oh, this fucking auto tracking. I need to turn this off. Um, anywhere south of Durham, our summers just saying Geordie boys. Geordies? I fucking can't stand Geordies. Yeah, the Harrier used water injection too. That's how it maintained its hovering. Um, and that's why generally they could only do vertical um, stationary flight for 20 seconds because that was literally the capacitor of the water tank. The, cap the, capaci um, the capacity. My God, it's getting late. The capacity of the uh, water tank. That was generally how long a Harrier could last. And then you can actually see them dump the water sometimes when they've landed. 
Um, have you talked about the engines that run on water? Damn it, I miss weed. Uh, yes, it's a lot of shite, and I did a video on that. Uh, B-52s, I'm guessing you're an American because you can't help but talk about B-52s. They've got buffs, don't they? Big ugly fat fucks. Uh, too much gear on it, let me sleep. Uh, respond to my question. What question? If it's another sex related one, you can fuck off. Um, second on the squish vid. Bearing. What about bearing? Bearing what? Oh, we've gone really slow now. Any road, let's go on to... We look at the cradle of this bike and how the actual engine attaches in there and all the rest of it. You can see that the side stand has a split in it. <laughs> Ask him to insult you to bed harshly. <laughs> a lot of Geordies are ponces these days. They pluck their eyebrows off. Oh, fucking don't even get me started on Uggs, straighteners. Don't even get me started on these fucking fairies. It, uh, I can rant about that all fucking year. Oh god, the way the world is going is just literally down the toilet on fire. It's just fucking yeah. Any road, here's a picture. You can see the dog's ass there. It's not someone's hair. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bearings, how to put them in case. What about it? What colour power bands are the best for a, a, a B to 250? Um, orange ones, but they've got to have that little go faster stripe down the middle, that little red stripe. Are southerners like what in England? Men aren't, men, no, men aren't turning into women and women are turning vice versa. God, no. Women have been women and they're basically guilting every man to become a fucking woman as well. I was talking to my, um, a, a girl recently, actually, about her boyfriend and I went, are you that bothered? Does it bother you that you're going about to go to a wedding in about half an hour and he looks better than you? <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Consistent uploads are a killer for the groupies who like to sleep. Oh well, you'll get over it. You can watch them tomorrow, fuck's sake, you don't have to be up to date. I went to work in Kent in the nuclear power station and had to work in Kent Wankers and Geordies. Kent Wankers and Geordies. Uh, I just love taking the piss out of the Geordies. York is full of them, especially when it's like race weekend or it's just nights out generally. Absolute fucking slags, the women. Jesus Christ, you give them literally a smell of a fag and you can get your fucking fingers wet. Matt, uh, would you be interested in doing a video on the big 3 250 four cylinders made during the 1990s? Very popular in Australia and Japan. How they made power, why they disappeared. Yes, I could actually, it's not that's like quite a, that'd be quite a good video. But groupies are strong, groupies are a legion. <laughs> Yawn. I don't know what you have the time for your uploads. Well, it's alright, you'll get over it. York is not York is not a northerner, York. What? York is not a northerner. York are snobs. Do I sound like a fucking snob? You gotta be mental. And slagging off my city is a great way to get stabbed in the middle of the night. Anyway <laughs> Threats on the internet. Um so basically this is where the engine used to sit. Um as is, that's how it used to come and this bar's in the way so we need to cut that out so that's exactly what I do, I chop that bar out of the way and basically weld in another bar and lower the engine like so do I sound very snobby? Snobby? You've got to be fucking shitting me, you should hear the people around here um, giving Geordie lasses a cigarette is a class classed as engagement up here fucking damn right it is, Jesus Christ I'll never get fucking rid of them Can you please fuck off with your moped bullshit? <laughs> hey, Rod. So, what I did is I bought another engine because they are cheap as chips. I think this is like 30 quid. It's an SP, which means it's the water cooled one. What would you prefer, fan mail or postage cost in PayPal? I don't understand what you mean. 
Uh, postage costs would help an awful lot wherever this goes in the world because it's probably going to cost me a thousand pounds. Well, it will if it's fucking New Zealand. It's all in your accent. What the poshness? You've got to be shitting me, aren't you? Uh, Arrogate is where the snobs are in Yorkshire. Fucking damn right. But the fucking girls there are sweet. Rich parents. Tight asses. Uh what is the engine is discussing? It, you'll get over it. You can watch the repeat if you want. Generally in England, the further south you go, the more softer the guys get. Get further north, the tougher they get. Yeah, damn right. Look at the Scots. Fucking hell. You could literally throw a breeze block at them and just wake them up. Fucking sweaties. Any road. What I did is I got this engine and I want to do what every motorped guy is going to love. I inspected it. I made sure it was all good. And then I chopped it in two. Because that's exactly what you should do with these fucking horrible things. Is chop them in two. It's chop them in two. Tool? Two. Poshness isn't poshness. That's military. It's often mistaken for poshness. But it's only so the officers can understand them. No idea what you mean by that at all. I'm, I'm zoning now. It's probably not your fault. Any road. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick two engines on top of it. What, what, one engine on top of the other. Um, and then we're going to basically use a belt, a timing belt, to attach the two engines together. So it's going to be a double engine. These were both 50cc. We can upgrade them to 80cc, but I'm going to go for 70. Um, and I was just making sure that we have clearance for the engine at the top. Clean screen. Clean screen. Come to Australia, then tell me about Hardy. What? How long are you streaming? Oh yeah, it's nearly over. Well, I'll finish this off really quickly and then I'll say my bye byes and I'll blow you all kisses and then I'll fuck off. Uh, yeah, so I'm basically just measuring out, making sure this entire thing will fit, and then we're looking at the size of the. Uh, there's the turbo. So this is the little baby turbo we're going to use, and uh, this is removing the rivets out of the central plate for the. Uh, flywheel and then what we're going to do is we're going to use these so these are variable, I say variable but these are timing pulleys off a 205, a Peugeot 205 fucking blowing me a kiss, I'm off Ponce see you later uh, everyone's just saying fuck off, I don't know if they've been angry, passive aggressive or what um, so yeah, basically what I've got is um, lots of people saying bye, that's cool, see you later boys and girls, thanks for stopping by, wrong Jeremy, <laughs> so basically I've got a plate and then basically that's what we're going to do, we're going to drill loads of holes in them and attach the plates, I have to balance it properly and what have you, but, and then the other thing is because we're using a turbo we have to have a um, oil pump system for the turbo, so this is an oil pump off a R1 that I butchered recently and this is what we're going to put on. You can see the main shaft there that I'm going to drive it off and that's going to be our eccentric oil pump. So I'm basically just building this up. I finally got that fucker apart. You can see this weird little collar and what have you. Um, how long is it going to be until you buy a H2R? By the price of them, about 10 years. Is that uh, turbo an RB H31? I think so. I, I, is that if that's the smallest one? Then yes. Um, so yeah, getting all these clips out and stuff, getting rid of all this shit. Uh, that snapped off. The oil pump snapped off. So I set fire to it to get access to the actual. It's a plastic pump, and I couldn't get it off the fucker it seized. Will you dyno it when it's done? Yes, I will. Are you doing EFI? I've heard turbos and carbs don't really work. That's what we are going to disprove. They will work, just not very well. I've seen people milling down the flywheel to increase throttle response. Yes, it will, but it also makes your combustion quite lumpy. With this, it won't be a problem, actually, because we've got uh, literally two cylinders. They're both two strokes, so we are putting them 180 out of phase, so they'll be bang every 180 degrees. But we can change that, that's the cool thing. And we'll actually look at, when I change it, what how that will change the feel of the bike and how it actually you know, changes 
um, the power delivery because of slipping the rear wheel and stuff like that. Do you have a time frame for the project, mate? No, do I fuck? I never do because then you just do your editing. You do your own editing trying to do that. Uh, so it'll be a pull through carb then. Yes, it will because that helps cool down the uh, impeller. What are the advantages of a tandem twin? For this, there isn't. It's just a nice way to fit it into the package. Everyone heard about uh, Richard Hammond. He had another crash here because he's a complete fucking idiot and he can't drive. This is what happens when you're the size of a hamster um, and your ego's as ghastly as that fucking goatee he's been sporting around. A uh, video on this. No, there'll be an entire series on this, not just a... Whoa, fucking hell. I might do a video just about the concept. Oh, my God's sake, fuck off. I have the fly, I have light the fly wheel on my arrest. Reduces torque, but the revs up quicker. Yes, of course it does it. So that it's, oh my god, this is pissing me off. I can't put that over that fucking page. Uh, yes, you'll lose your, it also makes it a bit lumpy as well. Um, how does skins sacrifice loving flywheel, blah, 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 blah. What? How does work skins and the sacrifice of loving fly, loving what? I don't know what that means, that's all really weird. Small men can't drive, that's very true. Matt, I'm glad to meet you. Are we are we, are we going on this date or what? Carmel, mate. <laughs> if I'm ever in the UK, remind me to buy you a slab. <laughs> I love Top Gear. It's not Top Gear anymore, mate. It's Grand Tour. Uh, any road. So, yeah, I had to burn this off to get the fucker off, and then it still wouldn't come, so I had to give it a good fucking beating. These are just... This is a broken... Um, Oh, gusset rod is spoken basically head bolt head stud it's a stud actually um, so yeah basically what I have to get that out and the way I get that out is weld a fucking nut onto the top of it and then basically as soon as it cools down back it out but I don't wait to cool down too much um, what else have we got laughing my ass off at the Hammond bash yeah well fuck him um, Need any help on the build? I uh, might do actually, depends what you're offering. Just like a child, it wouldn't let go, so I had to give it a beating. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so the, one of the last pictures is this arrangement where I had the collar and this weird nut arrangement. Like I say, there was two flats on the green pinion nut, but I couldn't see the thread at all. There was no indication of what the thread was. So I had to order that new pinion, the bit in the green. I had to order that to then um, see what which direction the thread is. I didn't want to wind it back and break the thread on this shaft, on the output shaft, because that was quite expensive. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing on that. I will, I'll tell you what we're gonna do as a little treat. I started 10 minutes early, but fuck it. We'll do another 10 minutes of reading comments and then I'll tell all you guys to fuck off because I need a coffee and a fag and then I need to get some sleep and I think the boss is tutting at me. Um, when you burn something, does it expand or decrease? When you burn something, or what do you mean, when you heat it up? It depends, actually I was going to do a video on that and I might actually add that back to the listeners so you've had that, ask that. Um, Thermal expansion can behave in weird ways in certain applications. What time is it? What time is it, Matt? I don't know. Look at your clock. Or do you mean here? It's uh, seven minutes past midnight. Um, whatever, whatever time. Like doing work on bikes like this. I don't understand what you mean. You have to be a bit more not so mental. What do you mean? Uh, I on bikes and they aren't. I own bikes and they aren't very interesting. Either people are absolutely mad and we're left with the weirdos or we're left with other people from places that English isn't. Their English isn't absolutely brilliant. I thought you joined Vape Nation. Fucking God, no. Fuck, in fact, why do I even have one? So you literally you don't like bikes? I don't even know why you're even watching this all on this live stream. That's insane. Uh, Jesus, it's only 9am here. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. But you're in Tomorrowland, so basically, I'm in the past. <laughs> uh, ran out of e-juice. I don't do all this shit. It's menthol flavoured, which is the fags, like the filters I used to have for fags. Uh, 
When the axle seized, why do you heat it up to free it up? Um, basically, thermal expansion and contraction, it's not just about heating it up. Basically, what's happened is you've got a galvanic, corro uh, galvanic corrosion, which is basically um, oxidation. But after that, what happens with rusty parts, usually in holes, especially steel on steel, and weirdly on steel on stainless steel, something weird happens. Um, what happens is is that they basically start to weld themselves together. It's the pressure of expansion and velocity. So if you heat things up, they will expand, and push, and then when they contract, it will hopefully leave a gap, and it also breaks this kind of um, cold fusion welding ish. It's a complicated process, and um, basically by a, just basically causing it to heat up and then shrink again, hopefully loosens it up so you can whack things out. Uh, what else have we got? This stream is great. Not everyone can do them well, but you manage a good job. Bad news, I'll is I'll probably watch it again. <laughs> well, that's because you're a sad bastard, obviously. Um, what else have we got? I'm just moving the microphone a bit. Um, dude, why are whoa, 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 whoa? Why are flat side carbs? I'm doing a video on that. You'll have to just fucking wait for it. I'm not gonna explain it here. Uh, I can tell you what you have for breakfast if you would like, Matt, since I'm in Tomorrowland, as you call it. Yeah, awesome, tell me, that's cool. I know what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, have you ever toyed with engines on bicycles, please? No. You see, if you. Let me just put this to bed straight away. If you have a bicycle, it's shit. And then if you have an engine, it's half shit. And then if you put that engine on that bicycle, it's three quarter shit and then if you look at it and realize that you're being shit and then basically set it on fire and put it in the bin and get yourself a real bicycle with a fucking engine in a motorcycle then you're all good so that's the the problem with bicycles and fucking engines in them any new er5 vids out anytime soon yes tomorrow will be an er5 video and i'm recording some more tomorrow but there's actually a few in the pipeline so we're all good I mean, I can help you on the project. Yeah, right, on the mental part. We're wasting time on crazy projects. I'm confused in what that even means. The answer, us two boxes, don't know what that means. They're called motorbikes. <laughs> what if you only 14? I don't understand. What do you mean? What if you're 14? Um, just wait. Don't worry. I know two years seems like a long time, but when you're my age, two years is like having a shit. Please no more bisexual bicycle engines. Yeah, damn right. Tell me about it. Uh, when are you going to do electrics? Ah, oh, that's a good question. That is coming soon as well. Go get some sleep. Serious question, biodiesel as a replacement for two-stroke oil, it's supposed to be better. Uh, I fucking very much doubt it. Two-stroke has certain properties in the oil that allow it to have um, higher stiction properties and surface tension properties at higher temperatures, where bio-oil is exactly what they just squeeze out of a load of vegetables um, and oilseed rape. Because it's a full moon. Is it a full moon? Matt is not swearing enough. Fuck off. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> awesome. What makes more impact? Variable manifolds or fucking variable valves? Uh, variable valve timing, definitely. The answer to what you are going to have for breakfast in the morning is two boxes of painkillers and a coffee. No, 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 man. It's a fucking bacon butty. I really want the MSX25, but I don't want to get mowed down by old people and people on their phones. It's alright, just grow a pair of testicles, you'll be fine. You're a bottomless pit of knowledge. I'm a fucking, I'm just bottomless. Fatty acids are crap lubricants. Damn right they are. They burn away like nothing. Loving your ER5 vids, learning a lot. Cool. I need some sleep because I, big ride. Big tour ride tomorrow, bye. See you later, dude. 
Uh, official dickhead groupie, awesome. Is it true that on some engines they use crank ventilation and blow by to lubricate the upper cylinder? It's a good question, I don't think they do. I'm not totally aware of that. Hopefully tomorrow I can finish my CBR6 project. Wish me luck, fellas. I am wishing you luck. You won't need fucking luck. God, it's easy. Best brand of lubes in your opinion? KY Jelly, it's amazing. Have you got a K5 Suzuki GSXR? No, it's a K8. I wish I'd... I would love to have a go on the new one actually, I know mate has got a new one and I keep on trying to bully him to uh, let me have a go on it. Will this beast be see the dino? Yes it will, of course it will, fucking hell, we need to, well we need to know what's going on with it, especially with um, the turbo and uh, the exhaust, whoa fucking hell, the exhaust arrangement that I'm looking at. So he'll have to see a dyno just to have a, a basic baseline. Um, yeah, you know, so we have, we'll have to dyno the shit out of it in a sense. I'll have to keep on going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Um, but it'll be because it, it's short wheel size and it's short wheelbase, and because of the mad gearing and what have you, and because we do have two cylinders. Um, and because they are lightweight, you've got to remember that you can get these engines to stick out. Uh, safely, I would say, get these engines to stick out 15 brake horsepower, and with two of them and a turbo, we're talking 30, 40, 50, 45, 45 horsepower, I would reckon. And that's been quite safe with it, as in not running stupidly high compression ratios and stuff, because I want it to survive, not just try and get it maximum power. Uh, hi Matt, just got in from the pub, so I missed this, but I'll catch up. Great video. Also, can you do a video on the 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 the, the what? Because I think you will love it. It's like a and the two stroke, the Troy two stroke. Yes, I can. Do you remember the monster performance bikes? Yes, I do. Easy it may be, but times is always the time is always the enemy. Your destruction of Motorman was funny. It's disappointing. Fools believe Muppets like that. Yeah, the problem I have with Motorman is the fact is that I have seen so many forums and stuff quoting him, saying, you know, someone says should I do a high break or not, and people quote him straight away because it's an easy link to get to saying this guy says you should stop being a fucking pussy and these are people just wrecking their engines and the worst thing is is they don't wreck their engines because they never have it for too long they have it for three or four years and it's us poor schmucks who go and buy the engine after it's done fucking 50,000 miles who have to deal with drop valves and fucking crack rocker cradles and god knows what who the fuck is this motor man his name is Patrick McGiven he lives in Wisconsin and you can easily find all these details. Did I ever call him? No, no, no. That, it, it is a bit encroaching on people's whatever. And the fact of the matter is, is I know exactly what he'll do is he'll put the phone down straight away. Um, what else have we got? I don't know what that says. Fuck no, I'm not Motorman. <laughs> Uh, Irish makes sense. Aside from low compression or engineering your own, do you have any ideas regarding making modern four-stroke dirt bike motors last, last exponentially longer between the needed services? Uh, no, the fact of the matter is is that you are ragging the shit out of your engine regardless if it's two-stroke or four-stroke. That's why they go pop. You know, you're going wide open throttle and really not really going anywhere. You're just spinning your rear wheel, it's under 50% load, and they just go pop. You know, that's the problem with um, off road bikes, uh, you know, especially motocross, is because you are, you know, just look, look at it this way if you have a road bike like a GSX 1000 or something, you're going fast when you're putting the engine under the most load, generally, unless you're wheel spinning the shit out of it. Uh, let's have smaller valves, fucking yeah, damn right. 
Yeah, Matt is making that fool famous. Hopefully for the wrong reasons, because like I say, the guy's already famous to a certain degree. If you've ever heard of Motorman, keep it that way. Uh, right then, it's a bit late now, and the boss is giving me the evils. So, I will catch you all this time next week, so next Saturday at 11 o'clock uh, my local time. If you look at the video, I will release the same video every week announcing. It'll be just literally a clone of the same video. If you see that video and it says, um, you know, and you see it and it, you get five seconds in the video and it's the same video, then you don't have to watch it. Nothing will have changed. Um, yes, so that's it. Thank you very much for all coming along, you know what I mean? It's great to chat to you guys. Um, some of your comments are great, especially off the cuff stuff is really quite good. And I will see you all in the next video, which will probably be posted up in about an hour. Okay then dudes, it's time for you all to fuck off, and I will see you later. And like that bloody thing's one.